Hello and welcome to Packers Compatibles uh, Random Chat. Uh, today we're just doing another game of the week. Uh, we're going to be looking at Milan, Milan versus Parma. Now, Milan obviously AC Milan and Parma. So both teams not doing too well in their respective league. Uh, this is, a lot of this is just to show that uh, two play games that are not based around Arsenal, which is quite good. So um, you do look at uh, this team. They've got some pretty decent players who on Evo, De Jong and Alex so I'm not going to mess about with the team too much because I'm not overly that can't, not really that afraid with the players altogether um, even though you do look at some of the things and think 77 uh, number 76 at the top is a bit crazy so the game going to be played for the San Siro so uh, now I don't I don't generally play a lot in the Italian leagues um, I don't know why actually it's not it tends to not be a league that I play a lot in um, when it comes to when it comes to FIFA. I'm not sure why. Uh, I tend to play Spanish and the German as well as English, and I don't know why. But randomly, I do like the American league as well, the old MLS, just because it has an interesting structure. Um, but again, okay, here we go. So uh, as you see, as I always say, I do play on pro professional. I'm I'm not the best player, but I, don't know, I do like to give it a bit of a run around. It's so I always uh, we'll, we'll stop talking at little points just because uh, sometimes he's trying to remember what I'm doing um, so. now uh, there is I've, there's always a big thing missing uh, with FIFA on the PC especially and that's the um, the replay section and the uploads that you have on the PS4 uh, PS, you have on the PS3 so you've got it on the PS4 and the Xbox and stuff and that's the ability to upload um, your goals. Now, admittedly, um, I use o OBS, Open Broadcast Software, to record this gameplay and you know, put my ugly mug up. I apologise about the background, um, the background mess, but we ha we have a. Uh, this is my daughter's room because this used to be my office, and we've had a daughter, and we're going to we're changing it into a nursery, which is why you might be able to see some of the pictures up on the walls. Um, but it's still in a a state of trying to alter what's going on so that's why it's a bit untidy I do apologize but um, yeah so um, so so yeah oh open broadcast software is quite handy now um, you can obviously always go to things like twitch as well if you wanted to there's, there's loads of different options and I think everybody kind of does their own thing but the ability to just upload a, a goal was just so handy you know on um, on the PS3 when I used to play on that system, and I do think it's something that I wish the uh, PC version had because you know I scored so many great goals. I'm joking, but uh, you know some people do, and it just seems like you have to have the pre fault and then find the goal and, and record it and stuff like that. And sometimes that can be a little bit difficult. You know, not everybody's got the money for a, a, a decent capture card or you know or the ability to buy a, a, a editing program which some of them you know a lot of people do but it would be quite nice to bring that feature in now again I, I think probably think the console community is, is probably bigger for a game like FIFA than the actual uh, than the PC community but it still would be quite nice you know a fear to mode or something like that is also quite a, an interesting and nice little um, a nice little feature and again other games do have it I think FIFA's one which which has had it for years uh, uh, FIFA COD, sorry, has had it for years and that would, would be quite nice and that's not a penalty how is that not a penalty? ok so, still question marks over the refereeing now, uh, as you can see my, uh, my you might be able to see until from the last week I try to play a lot of free balls so you will notice that quite a lot of my free balls are quite risky um, I just quite like it it's it's a good way, I think, of just playing the game, um, uh, play the game as well, play with the player of speed. So that's why I like generally uh, pick the teams. I like to have fast players. Um, you know, I like Walcott for Arsenal, uh, Robin for uh, Bayern Munich. People like that just because of that out and out speed. So I will always look for a speedy, a speedy striker. I think um, which used to be the quickest. I can't remember who it was. Um, Cisse was always pretty quick for Liverpool when he played there. Um, and there's another guy whose name is completely escaping me but again out and out speed always works well for me up front I think just because that's the way I play as you can see from that awful free pass so um, that's why I quite like having a lot of players up front you'll see me generally when I I do like 4-3-3 uh, that tends to be my preferred uh, 
gaming style these days, or even just you know one up front with two with two wide men. Um, so you know more four, three, two, one. But you know those those other two players are more the wider players, so they can just add uh, a lot of speed. It's a bit too hard. Wonderful. I probably should talk about that when I'm actually playing with the, with the setup that I like as opposed to playing with a different team. But again, Milan are quite good now. Milan, are, uh, I, I am a. I remember watching Milan as a kid growing up with people like Franco Baresi and um, Paolo Maldini and that sort of thing. And you looked at that club and thought they were just amazing. I mean, the San Siro, as you saw from the beginning of the beginning of the video, was just an immense stadium. And the fact that you know, they always had these things now, I remember, um, if I remember rightly, because. They also had uh, quite a few Dutch players like Van Basten and Rijkaard and um, who was the other one? And another uh, Dutchman who I can't remember. And it was always great when, um, during the 1990 World Cup, when uh, Holland were playing Germany. Um, and that was the, the infamous Voller Rijkaard spitting incident. But you had um, uh, Germany who had quite a few Inter Milan players playing against. Uh, playing against Holland you had quite a few AC Milan players and that just that was quite quite a tasty affair and I think Mateus uh, and Voller um, and a few other players you know, it just went a bit crazy but I think that's quite a good thing and again obviously with two teams two Milan teams sharing the same stadium you know it's always uh, it seems like a volatile rivalry to say the least so oh god sorry plays awful I think it's uh, something that you do do is you get used to your players and how quick they can run and how quick they respond. So when you do try a new team, uh, I found my side. Yeah, <sighs> and again. Um, so yeah, you're used to the runs a bit more, and I think that's something that you know is fun to play about with different teams. But it is also something that sometimes can get you a little bit, um, you know, it can give you a bit of trouble. But you know, I quite I enjoy this completely. Oh, you are. Okay, try not to blast it. Try to be sensible, and I hit the post. <laughs> that was a that was a brilliant. That was an easy breakaway, and that should have been a goal. There's no way that I should have missed that. That's a complete. I know. Ugh. To have that much room and to miss is just appalling, really. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, this has been a bit of a rubbishy game. Um, I should have scored. Uh, there was no excuse for that miss. Actually, it was absolutely appalling. Um, I had all the space in the world, and I can't believe I put it against the bloody post. So, obviously, go on to the next round. Hopefully, that would be okay. Won't bother ending that. Just resume match. So, there's no cop outs. If I do lose, I lose, as I've always said. So sometimes it's, uh, yeah, when you play, I could, you can always play a game on a lower setting and win 5 0, but that gets boring. I mean, I wish I could play World Castle in 5 0, but I've never been able to do that. I think even if I played a national team against the bloody Gym Voxel Conference or what it's called the Blue Square Premier team, these days I don't think I'd still be able to win. So that's fine. The one thing I know I don't use enough, I don't use skill nodes anywhere near enough. Uh, the, the the skill, uh, basically that button, uh, the right stick, I really don't use it. Now, it's something that I feel I should use more, but I'm just not used to it. And I think... Oh! Was that not a penalty? That wasn't a penalty. Was he offside? Yeah. Okay, so he's touch offside. Bloody hell's bells. I think there's a player I don't know a lot about actually. Uh, but yeah, that was awful because, again, what the hell's going on? Ah, that's a bad free ball. The great thing about playing, uh, again, that, that tactic in real life, which I'm not, again, I'm not sure how the computer plays it, but 
No, to keep on doing through balls means that you're always pushing the defence backwards, which then gives your players an, a, more of an opportunity to shoot from distance. Um, now I'm not sure if they've got if Milan have got or any players who are especially good at that. So you know maybe I'm make that's a mistake by me sort of doing that. But you know, if you think back the old days with people like Perlo and things like that who used to be able to shoot from anywhere. Um, yeah, I think even David Beckham once was playing for base in that at one point, which did seem a bit crazy. I think they had like one of the oldest um, teams in going. But if you look at uh, oh, I was lucky. If you would have volleyed that, that was a goal. Uh, made a mistake. Yeah, it's a good, good recovery eventually. But yeah, um, so yeah, I mean, it, they, that whole, I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to um, see people who are Milan fans who have a lot more, that, who know a lot more about the history of the club than me. Definitely so. But, you know, it is one of those weird things where you there are certain clubs around the world that you just know um, you know it, it always strikes me when I go to when I, when I have been pulled and you meet people who know who Man United are who know who Arsenal are and then you always get the odd random person who knows who a smaller club are as well and you ask how they know it's just like well someone wore a shirt once and that's why I know them or I've watched them on TV and stuff like that and again I think that's the same thing for us you know uh, same thing for me is that there are certain teams that I, you just you just uh, no, you know, like Barcelona have just got that air of, of quality and Ajax, I think, were always a team from the 90s who you couldn't help but think were just... who just, uh, you know, who everybody knew just because they were such a, a dominant force in Europe and obviously in the Dutch league as well because they just went absolutely mental with winning everything. But, you know, there are teams who just have an enigma, even though... And some of them, you know, they don't do anything anymore. Ah, excellent goal. Yay! Quality shot. <laughs> I hate the celebration and stuff. It's always weird. I don't quite understand it. But it actually was a good finish by me for once. Hey, drag back and... Yeah, pretty easy to be honest. And Menez scores, he scores a nice goal. So, um... Yeah, so, so, so yeah, there are those clubs now. I, I always... It's always uh, an interesting thing, and sometimes you don't know the rivalries, and that's something you know, back to the AC man to the other thing. But you f you don't realise that the, that why there is that why there is that rivalry between teams, and I think sometimes um, you have to be quite careful with who you say you or who you say you follow. So it's always an easy an easy get out clause. There are certain clubs, especially in London, where where yeah, where I was born and raised, that you don't want to yeah, there's that do go a bit mental, but. Yeah, but it's, I suppose it's just, uh, it makes complete sense to just be careful with who you say you support, um, which is fine. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. Oh, good block. Oh, bit too hard. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's better just to hold on when you're the goalkeeper as opposed to try to do things quickly. Oh, that's a good ball. That was unlucky. And sometimes it's good just to throw the ball out speedily. I don't play. I don't think I've played uh, oh, the PC Online yet, actually. Which um, it was a, a quite a nice thing about this is that it it imports your data from um, other from your past FIFA games, and I quite like that about FIFA. Is, you know, it kind of rewards you for continual play. Oh, this offside line is getting annoying now. But yeah, um, it rewards you every time you come back. You get a bit more experience, and I, I quite like that. I think it's a nice, um, a nice way to to show, um, to give those committed players a bit of a, a sense of pride about the game. It also gives them a sense of achievement, and you know, what you did last year actually does better for this year, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, I think recently, uh, Bungie, um, not Bungie, wrong company, Blizzard. I've taken that to the extreme with um, the World of Warcraft. You know, if you've been a subscriber for ten years, you get this uh, a nice um, bronze character. Oh, oh I know they think it's a bronze character. Not sure yet. Now that was a scrappy, crappy goal, but it went in, so it's quite good. First shot, tried this thinking, get hit across, and it like every good greedy striker just followed in, and so I just watched it from behind. It's just gonna trickle just yep, 
Goal line technology, wonderful. So right now, I think FIFA should follow on, and I mean FIFA by the real FIFA, and not just a FIFA game. No, being able to spot when a ball crosses the line is always handy. But um, so yeah, so and again, I think if um, that's something that that FIFA do do well, and also I think EA games in general seem to do that well. Like if you, I remember um, with Battlefield Three, if you had played Need for Speed, you got a Need for Speed dog tag. You know that's quite nice, and again, it just shows that your um, your your I don't know. Oh, great job. Okay, I say great goal. It's a lovely header <laughs> onto the bar, and it ricochets off my goalkeeper. So that's just actually, you know, a bit of poor goalkeeping, but yeah, it was a good header, so I can't complain about that goal. Um, but yeah, so a bit of kickball, I think. Uh, but it would be it would be nice if other franchises started to do that more. I think um, you know, we we do buy these games year in year out, and it is it's, it's quite nice to feel that you are. Now, a valued customer is always a great way to put it, but you know, you, these games aren't cheap. We buy a lot of a lot of stuff. You know, now obviously with uh, with with foot, um, you know, people people are not just paying fifty quid for the game; they're also spending you know ten, fifteen, twenty pound a month on on cards. You know, and I think if you're going to be doing that, just to say you know, well done, thank you very much for playing. You deserve a little bit of a of a of a you know, I don't know a bit of DLC or something like that is quite nice. Ah, oh, and finish it off with a, with a third goal. I think it should be finishing off. And Menez again. Nice, nice finish. So a little bit fortuitous in the build up there. It seemed a bit of a an easy ricochet. Um, oh, there you go. Actually, no. Actually, uh, I lied. Uh, just a great bit of skill by me, obviously, by letting the ball run behind. And a, a lovely finish to finish that one off. So quite, quite a nice little, uh, quite a nice little goal actually. So. Uh, Milan winning three. Well, should be winning three one. I won't. I won't count my chickens that have hatched. But yep, Milan three one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been Paul for Back to Spectacle. Um, if you'd like to come check out the site, we're at www.spectacle.com, or just check on the uh, go to our page on our main page on here and just um, click the link to the site. I can't believe that that book that, that shot hit the post was just absolutely irritating. But still, okay. Thank you very much for watching, and good night.